Alright, we are back, you guys. <clears throat> let's, oh, you know what? Let's save real quick. And let's head in to see if... She's adorable. Thanks, man. Glad everything's going well with her. Oh, thank you. Really appreciate it, man. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, she's the best. She is the best. Thank you. I was, I was really excited and happy to introduce her to you guys. Okay. So let's see if I can meet these guys yet. Yes! We can do it! Sweet! We can do it! Alright, so we just saved. So, River... And, hang on, wait. Let me make sure that I'm picking the green one. Here we go. And Chalk. Okay, meet these two, yes. And the Carob Nut, of course. And here we go! We may have ourselves a Black Chocobo in a matter of seconds. Let's do it! Cross our fingers. Let's do it! We got it! We got it! Sweet! Okay, it's a male one. Very cool. A male black chocobo. So let's... What should we name the black chocobo? Let's name it, uh... Hmm. A male black chocobo. Let us name it... Mountain and River. Um... Should we name the black chocobo? Yeah, we got it. We got it. And it's a male. Alright, so... Let's go with... You know, the name of the Earth, uh, the planet in uh, Final Fantasy VII, but Gaia is kind of like more of like a girl's name, right? Like a female name. Um, I don't know. Any suggestions, you guys? For this name? For this black chocobo's name? A male black chocobo? Drop the controller, you guys. One second. Let's name him Zack. Why not? Zack had black hair, right? <laughs> there we go. Name Zack. Alright, cool. We got our black chocobo up here, Zack. Alright, let's go save. This chocobo has black hair, so Zack works, exactly. And Zack also had black hair. <clears throat> Alright, so let's save. Now, what we have to do is go get a female wonderful chocobo, which is near Icicle Inn. Right, so what we need is... Um,
an A-class black chocobo and an A-class wonderful chocobo. So you don't even need S-class to breed. Very cool. Okay. You don't even need an S-class. All we have to do is get the black chocobo to A-class. But I want to go catch the wonderful chocobo first. So we have to go get a wonderful chocobo that's female. Um... near the icicle in and it's one or two jumpings by its side so uh, the ones with the rabbits and it needs to be a female wonderful chocobo okay so you know what we'll do is yeah we don't even have to catch two because the gender is determined when you go into the chocobo range so all we have to do is go catch one and we can keep on reloading until we get a female Okay, so let's head over by Icicle Inn. I guess I can go get HP MP swap, but I don't really need it right now. I'll wait till I get the gold chocobo and uh, get it then. You know what? We're going to need more Silka screens as well. We're going to need... Uh, we need 30 more Silka screens, 15 for each. The Wonderful Female will be easy to get. It'll be a lot easier to get, because all I have to do is get a Wonderful Chocobo, and then I can keep reloading until it's female, so that's fine. Uh, let's get 30 more Silka screens. 15 for the... for the Black Chocobo, and 15 for the new Wonderful Chocobo that we're about to get. Okay. So we need to go to the tracks near Icicle Inn, which are... Let me see, where's Icicle Inn? Okay, here's Icicle... Hold on. Here's Icicle Inn. So the tracks should be... Right here. Here we are. Okay, so we have to go land over here. Let's come over here. I know for sure I have the Chocobo Lore Materia on because I was getting into battles with Chocobos over by the ranch. So... Okay. Oh crap, I need greens. Well, you know what, I have some, I think I have, hold on. I need a green to throw at the chocobo. Let me see how many greens I have. I forgot about that. Uh. Here we go, I have, t all right. Let's, I have a mimic green up here. Hopefully that's all I need, but you know what, just in case, let me put, Oh, not the Silka Greens. We don't want to use them. Let me put the Tantal Greens up at the top here as well. There we go. Just in case. Okay. So let's see. We have to fight a Chocobo that has rabbits next to it. They're called Jumpings. Here we go. We got one. Let's see. Hopefully it's the rabbits. Nope, it's the wolves. So we don't want this. Let's run away. We don't want this fight. We need the rabbits. And the rabbits will make sure that it's a wonderful chocobo. Like, when we see that it's rabbits, it'll be a wonderful chocobo. Okay. Alright, here we go again. Is it the rabbit? Nope. It's a wolf. Any other combination other than just the rabbits will not make it be a wonderful chocobo. It has to have one or two. There's one. Unfortunately, there's no chocobo with it. Alright, here we go. Come on, wonderful chocobo. Yes! We're good!
Got it. Sweet. Okay. So now, we have to send this back to the stables. And the gender is determined... Let's ride this back over to where the high wind is. The gender is determined when we go into the Chocobo Ranch. Send it to the stables. Cool. Alright, let's head back. So what we have to do is save it now outside the Chocobo Ranch. And if we go in and it's a male, all we have to do is reload. And go inside again and eventually it'll be a female. I can take Chocobo Lure off now as well. Not gonna need that anymore. Finally. Finally, don't have to catch any more Chocobos anymore. Um. What do I have here? We'll work on more. Okay, let's save. These chocobos are smart to automatically know where the stables are, not to mention fast. <laughs> exactly, right? Alright, so we just saved. So now, this is when the gender is determined, I believe, right now. Or when it's uh, when it's put into the stable, it's determined. So let's see. We need to move a chocobo. Hopefully it's a female. Wonderful chocobo. Is it a... I don't know if it's a male or a female. Female! We did it. The first try, we did it. Okay, let's name this female Chicky. This is what I wanted to name our the first female that we got, but... Unfortunately, the bug where it automatically goes to select happened, and I wasn't able to rename it. Okay, Chicky. We got it. First try. Alright, so I need to release one of these original yellow ones, because I need to have room for the gold one when we start, you know, when we're able to breed the gold. So let's see. Let's get rid of... Here we go. We'll get rid of this B-class male, Choco. Release a chocobo. The B class male. There we go. Okay, get rid of that one. So now we have an open stable for the gold one when I breed for the gold one. There we go. Okay, so we got our, our yellow, our green, our black, our blue, our other yellow, the wonderful one, and then that'll be where our gold one goes. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so now, all I have to do is race again the final races. Oh wait, I have to feed feed the silk greens to each one. Fifteen for each one. Okay. We're getting there, you guys. We're almost there. We're in the home stretch now of getting a gold chocobo. Okay. Okay. Here's Zach, our black chocobo. Give him 15 silk screens. Only speed and stamina went up, but not intellect. Huh, that's weird. That's very weird. It should have raised intellect as well. Silk screen. Hmm. Okay, well, whatever. Um, and then... Finally... Here we go, Chicky, the wonderful female chocobo. We need to give her 15. Speed, stamina, yeah, and intelligence. Okay. I guess maybe the black chocobo, the Silcus greens don't increase his intelligence, but I shouldn't need any other types of greens to, in order to race him to A class, so. Okay, we should be alright. Okay. Let's go outside, save, and we have to do our final chocobo races, you guys. Our final ones. To get Zack and Chicky to A-class. 
Maybe intelligence was already maxed. Yeah, maybe it was. That's th that's true. And suddenly, I didn't even think of that. Maybe it was. Okay. This didn't take too long, actually. I mean, it's, <clears throat> it was definitely a process, and it was definitely something we needed to dedicate several streams to, but it really didn't take too long to uh, get everything we needed for a gold chocobo. The longest part of the process, really, is the chocobo races, which, you know, they're not even that long. Now that I know we don't have to get to Class S, we just have to get to A, you know, it's not bad. And eventually what I'll do, if I really want the sneak attack material, I don't think we really, really need it. And I think Sneak Attack is the only materia that you can get uh, out of the S-Class races that's, that's like, you know, unique to that. Um, I don't think we really need it. Now, Final Attack we need, and Final Attack is in the Special Battles in the Battle Arena. We'll definitely do that. But I don't think that we need... Um, I don't think we need Sneak Attack. I really don't. Okay. Alright, so let's do let's do Zach first, I guess. Okay, we just have to get them both to A class. Yeah, it, it didn't seem to take as long as, as we remembered, right? Exactly. That's what I thought as well. Alright, here we go. Let's go, Zach. Oh yeah. Zach is Zach is perfect here as far as uh steering him. Oh, look at this. And guess what? I think this is the fast version as well. For some reason, the race went really fast this time. Like it did when I was racing Joe, remember? Alright, very cool. Go, Zach, go! Alright, awesome. Now we gotta wait for one more to cross through the finish line. <clears throat> Yeah, this won't take nearly as long. We just gotta get them to both to class A, and we'll be good to go. And I already have the Zeo nut. You need to feed the um, the black chocobo and the yellow chocobo a Zeo nut. And I already have it. I stole it from uh, one of the goblins, I believe, on Goblin Island. Maybe it goes faster whenever a black chocobo is racing. Maybe, maybe because it went fast when Joe was racing his black chocobo. Exactly. Maybe it is. If that's the case, that would be great because all these races would be fast then. Nah, it went back to normal speed again. Ah, well, every once in a while we get like a quick fast race, and I don't know why that is. It must just be like, you know, the um, the coding or like the the way that the race loads in for some reason for that particular time, it just goes faster. But it's all right, not too bad. It doesn't take too long. This is awesome knowing that we're going to have Knights of the Round today.
Okay, sweet. One more race, and he'll be B rank. Ultimate end, yup. Yes, indeed. I can't wait to see Knights of the Round in the remake. We're gonna have to wait a long time to see Knights of the Round in the remake because I'm I'm 100%. Maybe not, let me not say 100%, but I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that Knights of the Round will not be in Part One of the remake. There's no way they would put that summon in Part One to be able to use Knights of the Round in Midgar. That would be crazy. Uh, so I'm sure we're gonna have to wait till Part Two or even maybe even Part Three if there is a Part Three. You know, for Knights of the Round. But I can't wait to see what Knights of the Round is going to look like. That's going to be incredible. It kind of like gives me the same feeling as, you know, reminds me from back in 1997 when Final Fantasy VII, the original, was brand new. And you would talk to like your friends, you know, about, hey, did you see that new summon? You know, I just got like Alexander, or I just got, you know, Hades, or I just got Bahamut Zero, you know, and oh, where do you see it? And like you would talk about what they looked like because, you know, there was no internet back then. Um, you know, when the game first came out, and you couldn't just go on YouTube, for example, and look up, you know, what a summon looks like. There were no like, you know, summon videos that you can just get on demand. You'd have to actually like fire up the game and, and obtain that summon and, and use it and then watch it happen for the first time. And I feel like with the remake coming out and having all these summons B rank, nice. Having all these summons, you know, new to the remake, it's kind of giving me like the same feeling as I had back when I was a kid. Like I can't wait to see, you know, a new summon or a new type of spell or something like that for the first time you know, in the game. It's pretty nuts. It is. It's going to be so epic. Nostalgia vibes, yup. to A class with Zach. We just need two more B class races. <clears throat> and then we just have to get Chicky to A class. And then we'll have our gold chocobo. Took a while, but like I said, very much worth it. Oh no, Joe's in this race. Okay, he's always going to be faster than you, no matter how, no matter what your stats are on your Chocobo. You know, even if you feed your Chocobo 99 Silka Screens and max out their stats to like way more than they ever possibly could be, uh, Joe is still going to be faster. Joe's Chocobo is programmed to be faster than you 
all the time. So, you just have to kind of get lucky and have him be behind you. Oh! Got a new follower! Uh oh, Tio, yeah, hold on, as soon as I'm done this race, I will uh, check and see who followed. But thank you to whoever that was, I just heard the notification. Yeah, he's right behind me. Joe is literally right behind me. We got him. We got him. Yep, we got him. And there he is in a close second. Mega Elixir. This is going to be some nice GP. I think it's going to be 100 GP for a Mega Elixir, which is pretty cool. 300 GP. Oh, yeah. Give me the GP. Okay. Uh, let me see really quickly here. Hold, hold on, you guys. <clears throat> Uh, Nehru, Nehru62, thank you so much for the follow, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright. Okay, I think this is the last race we need to do. You like the mod? Me too. Me too. I really, really like what the community did for Final Fantasy 7. You know, when you use 7th Heaven, there's so many mods available, you know, right out of the gate in the 7th Heaven program itself, but then you can also download additional ones. They're called IRO files. And you can go on Quim forums and check out all the different modifications that fans over the years have made for Final Fantasy 7, and a lot of them um, will be able to be incorporated into 7th Heaven, so you can just toggle them with, you know, a mouse click and turn them on and off, and you can configure them turn certain aspects of, you know, whatever mod you downloaded on or off at will, it's really awesome. You know, it's just really amazing that the community over the years has just been, you know, just a bunch of hardcore, dedicated Final Fantasy VII fans that just want to do awesome stuff with the game. And it's available to all of us, you know, for free, at no cost. You just go on and, and download the mods, and it's a pretty simple setup, you know, to, uh, to get them all installed. And it just makes the game so much more enjoyable, in my opinion you know, to just kind of give the graphics a nice fresh coat of paint and, you know, some new music. Not that the music, of course, the, the original music is, is a masterpiece. Nobuo Uematsu is, is just the man. But, you know, just a different music, different, just a new coat of paint, basically. And some new audio, some new stuff like that. Just kind of gives the game a fresh look. And, uh, I enjoy that. You know? A red dragon fang. I'll take the item. And I think, yes, Zach is A rank now. Very cool. Alright, so we're finished racing with him. We just have to do some races now with Chicky to get her to A class. And that's it. We can go breed a gold choker, but maybe have to do a couple battles to get them prepared to mate, you know. But, um, other than that, we'll be ready to go and we'll get a gold choker. Oh my god. Nice, we got a fast one. Every once in a while, the race will load in quick, and it, it's like this. Oh my god, these guys are getting burnt. <laughs> Holy moly. I wish every race was this fast. I really do. Look at this. Blazing speed. We'd be done in no time if every race was like this. <laughs> there we go. It, I have no control over that when it loads in fast like that. It's just every once in a while. I'll get a race that is like super fast like that. But yeah, I have no control over that at all. The fast ones are fun to watch. They are. They are. And unfortunately, I can't proceed till the, you know, to the windscreen until another chocobo crosses the finish line. There we go. Yeah, see, we're back to normal speed now. 
I smoked them. Yeah, it's gonna be the same in all these races. The C-class C races are, you know, if you I fed my Chocobo 15 Silka screens, that's, you know, it's enough to just kind of leave them in the dust. So. It's amazing that selling one mastered all materia is all you need to do to have enough gil to fund the chocobo breeding to, all the way up to a gold chocobo. All you need is to sell one mastered all materia. Get yourself 1.4 million gil and you are set. to master all material. Yeah, seriously. Here we go. This should put us into B rank now. Not gonna lie, the Chocobo race theme is catchy. <laughs> it is. It is. Oh, nice, another Mega Elixir, 300 more GP. Sweet. <clears throat> Alright, B rank. Three more races. All we need is three more races in this playthrough. Three more races in the playthrough, that's it.
Hopefully one of these, well this one isn't, but hopefully one of the next two races I do after this will be one of the fast ones. <clears throat> What is my Twitch title right now? You guys, what does it say up on the top for my Twitch uh, stream title? I think it says on disc 2, Let's Mosey, right? I'm going to have to change that once I beat disc 2, which we're very, very close to doing. We're, uh, just a couple more things I have to do and then we'll be on disc 3. Final Fantasy 7 Custom HD Remaster on Disc 2 Let's Mosey, yeah. My favorite game of all time, right. Okay, so I'll have to change it. Not, uh, probably not today, because I don't think we're going to get to Disc 3 today. We'll get close, maybe, but I'm probably not on it today. But, uh, I'll have to change it to Final Fantasy 7 Custom HD Remaster, Disc 3, uh, whatever, I don't know. Say something about Disc 3, my favorite game of all time. Road to a thousand followers. <laughs> okay. Be a mega elixir again. Oh, it's a high potion. Okay, that's fine. This afternoon is full of chocobo races. If I get the hero drink, I'll take that. The hero medicine. We'll have to see which prize I, I end up landing on. Well, unfortunately, this wasn't the sped up race, so I have one more after this. Hope maybe the last one will be the sped up one. We got the ice crystal. Okay. GP. Okay. This is it, you guys. One more race. It's cool that you only have to get them to A class in order to do the successful breeding. Because <clears throat> when I was a kid, when I was younger, oh, Tio's in this race again, Joe. What is Chocobo Tio? Um, yeah, you see how quick he is. But anyway, when I was a kid, um, I would always race all my Chocobos to S class before breeding them because I thought they had to be S class in order to get. Guess what? This might not be the last race we do. If Joe beats me, I'm gonna have to do another one. But I always thought you had to get uh, your Chocobos to S class before breeding them in order to get the desired, you know, special chocobo. Aw, oh, Joe. Nah, I'm gonna have to do another race. He's gonna beat me. Yup. Look, he's always faster than you. And this, this time I unfortunately was not successful in beating him. Okay, I have to do one more race. He made me do one more. Damn you, Joe. You made me do one more. Okay. Insomniosis! Thank you, dude! Holy crap! You subbed for seven months currently on a one month streak. Th seven months! Oh my goodness, dude. You guys 
Thank you for all- Oh, Joe's in this race again! Joe, dang nabbit. You're making me do all these extra races. <laughs> oh, and I can't slow down my stamina drain either. Insomniosis, says thank you so much dude you guys have really made this stream be awesome today I mean it was awesome enough just having you guys here with me to watch me play my favorite game of all time like I said before I, I just really enjoy having you guys here to begin with but the fact that ah oh, Joe you're making me do more race <sighs> ah. the fact that for example Mr. E subscribe again resubscribe in the beginning of the stream and then made such a generous donation um, after that and then Dom if you're still here Dom resubscribed again and now it's Samiosis you resubscribe you know thank you guys it, it's just you guys and, and then I got uh, Nehru Nehru62 as a new follower here we go. Now we're good. Now I'll beat this race. Hey, look! It's a fast one. It's one of the fast ones. Sweet. Nehru with a new follow. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody that's here. I really, really, really appreciate it more than I can ever say. For all the subscriptions, donation from Mr. E. Um, you know, just, just you guys being here, period. You know, to being able to chat with me about our favorite game here. Well, my favorite game. I know it's a lot of your one of your favorite games as well for all of you guys out there in the chat. Um, but just being able to be here and talk about FF7 and you know introducing my daughter to you guys, which is really awesome, being able to have her on camera for a few minutes. And uh, you know it's just been a great stream today, a great stream all around. And a rank, boom! And we're getting a gold chocobo today as well. To top it all off, we're getting a gold chocobo. So, great stream all around today. Okay, that is it for chocobo racing. Chocobo racing is finished in this playthrough. I think it, I think. I may want to race later on to get the sneak attack material in the S-Class races, but probably not. I think we'll be able to be just fine without sneak attack. Okay. So now, we should be able to get a gold chocobo. I have the Zeo nut already. I'm oh, dropping some frames here, you guys. Sorry about that. I'm waiting for it to stabilize. I don't want to move yet until I don't want you guys to miss anything on the stream. Uh, it's bouncing all around. It should it should level itself out. Yeah, I think we're good now. We're good. Okay. Alright, sorry about those dropped frames, you guys. Alright, here we go. Off to breed a gold chocobo. Actually, I'm not going to be able to breed a gold chocobo just yet because I'm going to have to get into some battles so that they're mature enough in order to breed. You know what I'll do? I'll go outside the chocobo ranch. I'll get into three quick battles and then I'll head in and see if they're able to be bred yet. Save. Nice. Very nice. Sorry, right, three battles, real fast. Let's go, three quick battles. anywhere from 3 to 18 battles, so I'm hoping that 3 will do it. Oh, you know what? We can arrange our items too again. Put them back in type order. There we go.
Did I know great white shark males aren't able to reproduce until they're 35 years old? I did not know that. No, that is a uh, pretty interesting fact there. I did not know that. Did you know that great white sharks have like three rows of teeth? I think it's like three or four rows of teeth. It's pretty crazy. Was that three battles I just got into? I'm not sure if that was two or three. I lost count. I'm gonna get into one more just in case. They also have ice blue eyes. Pretty cool. Okay. Alright, let's save. Not just black. Yeah, because you see, I think it's right before a shark uh, attacks, right? Their eyes turn black. They kind of roll into the back of their head or something like that, right? And they turn black. I could be misremembering that, but I think I've heard in the past that right before a shark goes to attack whatever its prey is, its eyes turn black. Okay, can we make them? Yes! We can mate, okay. Wish me luck, you guys. Here we go. Oh no, you shouldn't choose ones that have only made it or just been born. Never mind, we can't do it yet. We can't do it yet. Okay. We gotta do a couple more battles. I can't believe I just bred chocobos in this playthrough. Again, I, I can't believe it. I haven't done that in so long since I was a kid, because usually I don't do this in my playthroughs of Final Fantasy VII. Usually, I'll just go through and I'll, uh, I'll beat Ruby Weapon in order to get the Desert Rose to get a gold chocobo that way. So usually I'll do that, but... Back just in time, you were watching remake videos. Wow, I know, man. I know, Dom. Trust me. Oh, I know. It looks like... The remake looks like the most polished game that Square Enix... In, I would even say in so far as any game developer. And I know I'm a little biased because this is my favorite game of all time, but... It's the most polished looking game that I have ever seen. That Square Enix has ever made. But... I'm talking about any, like any other developer. It is so polished looking. It's incredible. Sedic! Holy crap, Sedic! Uh, Nehru, their eyes are recessed in their heads so you usually can only see their black people. Got it. Sedic, thank you so much for the sub, man. 25 months. 25 months. Oh, you're the man. Thank you, Sedic. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good afternoon, how's it going, man? It's been a while. Oh, Dolphin Blow was, was uh, devised. Very good. Oh, man, Sedic, thank you. Oh, my gosh. Like I said, like I said, this stream today has been awesome. What a, what a way to come back to streaming after, like, about a week and a half to two weeks of not streaming. Like I said, I you know, I've been busy, uh... You know, not able to do morning streams anymore. It's it's just awesome being with the baby and and being able to you know be busy like that. But I just haven't had time to stream, and I was able to come back and stream a little bit this afternoon. And you guys have made it awesome, <clears throat> awesome, awesome, awesome. Just being here, like I said, is enough. You guys just hopping in, talking to me about our my favorite game of all time, and just hanging out and chatting. That's incredible. That's why I do it. That's why I stream. It's just to to be a part of this community of all of you guys but the fact that I've had multiple subscribers today resubscribers you know today 
uh, Mr. E, Sedic, Dom, Insomniosis, you know, you guys, uh, you didn't have to do that, and I, I truly appreciate it with, with, you know, everything, and Mr. E with the donation as well on top of that, thank you, thank you, thank you, you guys are the best, thank you. Right, you had it for a month or two, got tired of the MK11 stuff. I, yeah, I don't blame you, Sedic. No problem at all, man. And I've been busy with the baby, exactly. Sedic, you missed... Um, I, I came to the camera with Violet. You missed uh, me introducing her to everybody. So if you want to watch the VOD, I don't know at what point it was, at, you know, what timestamp it was, but I brought her up to introduce her to everybody a little earlier before you came in on the stream. So that was pretty cool for me to be able to do that. Okay. So I did just save it, I think. Let's, let's breed these guys. Music fits the speech. Ah, oh, thanks, Dom. Thanks, you're the man. Thank you. You are the man. <laughs> you're in Saudi right now. Wow. Oh, man. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Okay. Can we do it? Shouldn't choose ones that I've just met. Oh, okay, a couple more battles. A couple more battles. Oh, we're dropping some frames. Sorry about that, you guys. It should stabilize in just a minute. Okay. Alright, a couple more battles. Yeah, you guys have made this stream, you know, awesome. One of my best. One of my best streams. I don't think... <laughs> it's funny. I was about to say, like... Donation wise, you know, I don't think that I, Mr. E will remember this. I don't know if Mr. E is still in the stream at the moment, but I was playing Mega Man Legends, I believe it was. Mega Man Legends back, like, this was, I'm gonna say, like, two to two and a half years ago. And it just reminded me of, like, me, me talking about, you know, how grateful I am for the subscriptions and the donation from Mr. E today just reminded me of. Like, I think it was like two and a half years ago. Two, two and a half years ago. Nox, you guys remember Nox, eh? Of course. Um, Nox and Mr. E were both in the stream. And I was playing Mega Man Legends. And I don't know how or why it started. To this day, honestly, I don't even know how or why it started. But they got into a donation war between the two of them. <laughs> Donating to me. Which was insane. And I ended up with, like, that one stream with the two of them donating back and forth. I ended up with, like, something crazy, like $110 or something like that at the end of that stream. It was, it was insane. But, <laughs> as that was, like, the, you know, the most, nothing, nothing has topped that as far as, um, you know, donations or tips, whatever you want to call them, for streams. But I have no idea, like I said, how or why that started, but... That was insane. I'll never forget that stream. That's for sure. That was uh, incredibly, incredibly generous of them. And it was just, like, you know, we all kind of laughed about it.